I, I used to live in San Francisco and downtown San Jose. Our family always lived, you know, in, in cities. And uh, I didn't think I could, could live here. But, you know, once you get this place under your skin, you, you, you can't wait to get home. Seriously. I mean, and it's been that way for me permanently since 96. Named after a, a mine in, uh, at the top of Italy, which was called Idria, so they named this new Idria. You guys, it had 600 people here, um, especially when the miners brought in their families. There, was, there were miners of, of all kinds of, of different races and, and eth ethnicities, and um, they all kept themselves separated, <laughs> weirdly enough. Anyhow, um, the mine kept going, uh, it kept producing uh, it, throughout uh, the turn of the century. The price of mercury went down. They used to transport it by mule team to Fresno, to Alviso, and Fresno, but mostly to Alviso. They took it down to Trace Pinos, put it on a train, or they took it all the way to Alviso to put it on a barge to export it. We found this property just in the back of the uh, San Jose Mercury in a little ad. And, you know, the price was right. It was 1980 and we jumped at it. Now, we knew it was polluted, you know, from the mercury mine that, you know, we knew it was. But we didn't know how badly it was polluted. And that the aquifers beneath were polluted so that we couldn't have a, a well of good water. We battled every agency in the government that you can imagine for this catastrophe, this environmental catastrophe, because this water goes all the way to the San Francisco Bay and we share it with the world. Kill fish and people. <laughs> and you cannot collate it out or anything. It's just, it's permanent and it builds up. And mercury <coughs> poisoning makes you bump into walls, uh, lose your motor skill, lose your teeth like I have. Um, <laughs> it makes you uh, laugh uproariously at your own jokes. And it makes you, uh, <laughs> it, it turns you into a hermit, you know? And five years ago, the EPA came rolling up. To, it, we finally got on the Superfund list. It took 30 years of screaming, but we finally did it. Now, the creek right now looks really good. So they're doing something right up there. The EPA has been on the job for five years. They say five more years. I think it's going to probably be another 30 years before they're entirely done. They're making, putting in big culverts and they're cleaning out settling ponds and stuff. I don't know exactly, you know, all the billions of dollars they're putting into it and stuff like that. But the creek is better since... Um, and we noticed that it was running clear after the main rainfall. And you can see in, in the bottom that there's, there's still this orange silt. Yeah. I'm so glad you came up. Yeah. You're welcome up here anytime. You know, 